A young father has died after a crash outside the Chrysler stamping plant this morning. He is Pierre Fullove. His co-workers did what they could to try to help after he lost control of his SUV. Sean Lay reports it appears he was rushing to get to work on time. Good evening from Detroit's east side. Tragedy just outside the Jefferson North assembly plant. A young father who was at his daddy daughter dance last night arriving for work here very early this morning when as you can see there was a fiery crash. We got the call uh, at 508. So we was on the phone at I don't know if he just had got off the phone, but we was on the phone at 458. This woman was on the phone with her boyfriend Pierre Fuller as he was arriving to his job on the railway that runs behind the Jefferson North assembly plant off of Saint Jean. Hours later, she got the terrible news that Fuller was killed in a horrific crash. The details are grim. Our investigator said he was probably doing 80 miles an hour. He was he was at one point on the phone with someone saying it. Uh, he's you know he it, he was late for work and he's got to get there. Um, the investigator said he, he hit a concrete pylon that supports a lighting fixture uh, about 80 miles an hour. Detroit police add that the driver sped past a car, hit a patch of ice and went into the pole, then came to rest on a fence, bursting into fire. Two co-workers also arriving to work tried desperately to get that driver out of the SUV and they suffered burns and smoke inhalation while trying to help and had to be rushed to the hospital. The debris field from the impact was about 100 feet around the car. This was a Cadillac Escalade. The man's girlfriend says Fuller was a father of three and took his daughter to the daddy daughter dance at her school just last night. Detroit Fire and Detroit Police continue to investigate. From Detroit's east side, Sean Lake, Local 4. The two workers who were hurt trying to help were taken to the hospital. We have no information on their conditions.